Legacy System Migration Workbench (LSMW) tool provided by SAP for uploading non-SAP data to the SAP system. Today we are going to learn how to upload vendor master data using LSMW tool. Let's jump back to the SAP system and go to the T code LSMW. Here we have three things to enter: project, subproject, and object. The project is 10 characters name and use uh, for the transfer project and the sub project is an ID of 10 characters again for use for further structuring attribute and the object is an ID again of 10 characters is the name of the business object in our case we are just going to enter the sample data or what we have once we have enter we land up into the LSMW workbench here we have around 14 steps and we are going to jump to the first step okay in the first step we are going to maintain the object attributes we have various modes of data transfer we are going to use the batch input recording we are going to create our one batch input recording this batch input recording will be used for further in this tutorial we are going to use transaction of XK01 that is vendor master creation just entering some sample data we enter some name country and we don't have anything here nope we move to next screen next screen yep we have reconciliation account over here and cash management group so as you can see I'm just entering the mandatory data which is required and auto currency in this case next yep so we have created our recording as you can see on the screen and clicking on default all we see all the fields now I'm going to map all my fields from the notepad to my SAP screen just cross-checking whether I have included correct fields in my notepad a k o n t f d g r v and there's one more below I guess yeah w a e r s yeah so we have all these fields mapped into our notepad Moving ahead, we have next step as maintain source structure. The source structure can be used to design the hierarchy of the files to be uploaded. Okay, and we're going to save it and move back. As mentioned, source structure, we are going to design the hierarchy of the files to be uploaded. Coming to the change mode, we are going to create a structure name it as Z fend underscore str you can use any name or nomenclature for that and saved moving to the next maintain source source fields fields which, which will be uploaded from the text file can be maintained here so I'm going to upload them from the file itself or you can create it in this case I'm uploading it from a file remember okay as you can see all my fields from my Excel have been transported to my SAP source fields now my structure contains these fields I'm going to go jump to the next that is relations maintain structure relations this is needed for processing the data which is assigned here that's it moving ahead maintaining field mapping and conversion rules here as you can see on the screen our SAP when project is here and we are going to go to auto field mapping uh, this is very efficient way of uh, utilizing and you don't spend much time on mapping the fields is let SAP decide what field is there 
we are going to simply click accept proposal for all the fields which are meant in on the screen as you can see as if we have taken care of the field mappings and rules moving on to the next maintain field we are going to skip that one okay we are going to go specify fields files sorry in our case we are going to pass the legacy data so we are going to take a legacy front end and my data is in this file as you can see I have used a tabular format tab delimited you can you know enter some data and just click tab and it will be giving some space uh, the same way you can enter your data and save it in the text file you can give a name to that you can give it vendor file and don't forget to mark it as tabular as you can see our separated tabular is there and we are going to save and come back going to assign file in our assign file here we define which file we are going to use for the current upload I've already maintained it I'll come back we're going to read the data it gives an option to read only few records or entire chunk in our case we have read all displaying the read data okay we are going to display it and okay this is the data what we have read from the file from our flat file which I have kept on the front end legacy system moving ahead we have convert data this is used for converting uh, the, the converting the data is uh, transfer the data from source to target structures based on conversion routines return and maintain field mapping and conversion routines display converted data we are just going to display our data what has been there and you can see this data has been appeared and now the final step we are going to run the batch input session which we have already stored executing yes our 10 records has been successfully executed now let's go back to the transaction and run it from the batch input okay we're going to process all the line items and we are not going to display it so we are going to run it on uh, display error only so only if it is having error it will see that or else it will just go and dump all the data in our case it has dumped all the data so we have complete transaction to verify the content uh, so, sorry to verify the process we have to map, uh, validate the content in the table whether it has mapped the correct so let's go to LFA1 master table and open our X uh, notepad file and try to map the data whether it is coming correct as you can see um, we have all the data the notepad verified okay we are moving towards the selection screen of the table we'll try to remove this and check without that let's see how many we have 14 okay and this 14 okay uh, okay th this so some appears to be for air in there as well okay my bad but anyways we can see that our data has been correctly dumped into this table uh, that is how we can move ahead on lsnw vendor master upload uh, i hope you have enjoyed all my session today and do subscribe to my channel this is my website and thanks for your support